Why are you here? You're here to outwork. You're here to outtrain. You're here to win. Here with Seth Nevels. Seth, thanks for taking the time to weigh in with me. Thank you. Hey, you're just jumping right in. You were recently at the NCAA Championships uh, watching AJ and Nick wrestle, watching your future college team wrestle. What was your impression of the the overall experience? Just mind-blowing. Uh, I've been there a few times, and each time I go, it feels like it just gets better. It feels like Penn State just... You know, it just keeps doing better and better every time I go. And it's an awesome thing to do, knowing that you're going to go there and you're going to be a part of that. And as far as my brothers, it's just it's awesome to see them wrestle there and just to see them do well and uh, All-American and just complete their uh, goals. Now, when, you, when you're watching and, and you're thinking about it, I was going to get to this later, but watching Penn State, do you feel like pressure, like it's coming up? going into the unknown or what's what's the feeling like when you're watching a team you're going to go compete with um well loving bonus i mean it, it just it feels like a great fit like going to be there because you know i love bonus and you can obviously tell they love bonus yeah so uh i don't feel too much pressure because you know it's something that i try to strive for in my matches even in high school to get mm-hmm. bonus well speaking of which so you just Captured your fourth state title, pinning your way through the tournament twice uh, in a row. Have you have you thought about that? I mean, have you reflected? I mean, it just happened a couple weeks ago, right? But it's been yeah. going on for four years. What do you think about that experience? And you know, um, you know, it's just what it's just a reflection of the awesome uh, coaches I have at Columbus High School: Adam Terrapelli, uh, Steve Terrapelli, uh, Gabe Schaefer, and John Zamora. It's just a reflection of them and how they uh, how they teach me to wrestle and how they uh, prepared me for high school. They just told me to always go out there and you know get a bonus uh, basically, but you know just go out there and score points and that's what I uh, try to do. It's a great attitude. Um, where do you find yourself? most dominant when you're wrestling just in, like going through that tournament are you feeling more dominant from neutral or from top i don't get to see a lot of your your matches um well top, top's really where i get it done but at that tournament at that tournament um you know i'm trying to make sure nothing happens i don't get hurt so i kind of try to go um try to get the first take down and just put it away as fast as i could but yeah top top is where i like to be got it um, you've only lost one match in high school, Colton Schultz. Can you tell me a little bit about that experience mentally, um, just to get an idea of what kind of how you approach the sport and how you bounce back from setbacks? Um, you know, I was thinking about it before uh, going in that. You know, like kids are coming up to me and asking me what's going to happen, like if you lose and all that, and. You know, I didn't really, I didn't really think too much of it, because, you know, the day there's always gonna be you know, tomorrow. So I didn't really, yeah, I really wanted to win that match, but I'm sure I'm gonna get to wrestle again later on. Yeah, probably multiple times. So I'm hoping I'll just get better and you know get him next time. Okay, um, you were also a standout football player in high school. Was it an easy choice to go on to wrestle in college versus football, or you know, can you describe that process? Um, yeah, I, I really liked football, but wrestling is just. As I've gotten older, I've found more love during wrestling practices and wrestling tournaments and wrestling duels. Whereas when I was younger, near like my freshman and sophomore year. I considered myself to like like football more back then, I think. But now going to the NCAA tournament a couple of times, it's just like way bigger uh, like dreams that I have now. Can you talk about those dreams? Uh, same dreams as high school, but for college. Yeah. Uh, I go undefeated, four-time NCAA champion, four-time team champions. 
I think we can do that. Yeah. Um, and try to be the most dominant guy on the team. And then it's it. Good goals. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. So, what did, so freshman, sophomore year, you thought of yourself more as a football player? Is, did you yeah. just take wrestling more seriously after that, or was it always serious? No, it was always serious, but there was something about football when you're with your friends. During those game days, and freshman football is it's pretty fun to do um, at our school because, you know, sophomore year is a, kind of like the path where you either go to varsity or you go to JV, but freshman is when you get to stay with all your friends and I really enjoyed that, so I like that. Okay. Now, growing up, the youngest of four big wrestlers in the house, um, anything embarrassing about your brothers that you could share on, you know, YouTube? Um, yeah, if you ever see Nick and you have some ketchup with you, try to give it to him. <laughs> Nick, he's not allergic to ketchup, but... He thinks he is. And so, like, whenever we were growing up, if we ever had catch next to him, we couldn't eat next to him. Really? He would either walk away or make us get up and go away. What made him think that he was funny. allergic to it? I don't know why he thought he was allergic to it, but... <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it's funny. It's like a cat and a cucumber. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. That, nice. Good information. Um, <laughs> we talked a little bit about growing up in Clovis. The Fresno Valley, your brother AJ just wrestled uh, his freshman season there. Wrestling is huge in that in the valley there. Can you describe? Yeah. I I can't remember. I think you guys or Fresno uh, was averaging more than five thousand people at their first season. Did you go see him wrestle at all? Uh, yeah, I, I got to go to a couple of them, but some of them I had tournaments. But yeah, it's just it's an amazing uh, it's an amazing place to be right now since they just uh, reopened. I don't think anybody thought it was going to be as big as it is, but um, it has really blooming, and I think it's only going to get bigger. Did you ever consider going there? Uh, no, I always not not to downplay or anything, but I always had bigger uh, bigger goals and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. Um, we mentioned this earlier before we started talking, but I've talked to a couple guys out in the West Coast. Uh, and I've coached out there. There's a little fraternity, it seems like, with some of those guys. You, do you feel that same quality as Travis Whitlake and Roman Bravo Young, a few of these other guys, or is that something that has not affected you? The what? They just kind of like out of the. You're out of the um, the hotbed of wrestling, and you know, yeah, I don't know. Travis Whitlake just brought it up. It's like a fraternity of guys from the West Coast. It's you know, they're they're not in Iowa. They're not in the. Rust Belt or Ohio to New Jersey. Sometimes they get forgotten about until they show up at a tournament. Yeah, I feel that when um, well, like when you go when you go to your out of state tournament, like we do, you just see like usually all like the like you know, like the higher ranked guys like hanging out with each other, and you like, like you either know who you are or, like. It's like weird, like for them to see you. So it's pretty, it's pretty funny to have that happen. It's like a snuffleupagus showing up or something. All right. Hey, so yeah. why did why did you end up picking Penn State? Um, it's just it felt like home when I went there, and I've been there a few times. And every time I go back, I just fall in love with it more. The coaches are amazing. The wrestlers are, you know, even more amazing, and they just. Even when I went back there in, you know, younger years, um, the guys were just treating me amazingly. And, you know, that kind of just set the stage for it. When do you see yourself moving to State College? Um, pretty soon after I graduate. I want to get in there and, you know, start training as early as possible to uh, uh, start making some gains. Got it. That how have you wrestled Nick your whole life growing up, or has that been something you've been younger? Or what's what's the relationship with you guys wrestling? Because you're going to be wrestling. I'm sure you've been wrestling recently, but I mean, is it does it get more intense than normal? Um, actually, recently we haven't been wrestling that much. Okay, you know he's across the United States, so 
But when, when we do get to wrestle, um, it gets a little heated sometimes. <laughs> uh, takedowns, back points for, for you, or what's the, what's the situation? Can you give us a sneak uh, peek into the Neville's competition? Right now, it's not favoring my side as much. Okay. But I think once I get in the room there, I think the, the tide might turn. All right. Bring ketchup. Uh, <laughs> you do know there's like 12 inches of snow here, right? Are you? I mean, you get 300 days of sun there a year. There's like 12 inches of snow, and they're talking about an Easter snowstorm? <laughs> Yeah, my brother. My brother has been sending me Snapchats of the snow, saying, "You know, this is what you're gonna be in." And I've never really been in that type of weather, so I think it might be fun. Maybe not, though. It'll be uh, something new. You'll be in the gym mostly, but you know, it's definitely gonna change my wardrobe. <laughs> totally, totally. Um, can you tell me who you did most of your interactions with, as far as coaches and recruiting and? The communication process? Um, kind of all of them. They all kind of opened their arms to me and, you know, they were all texting me and checking out how I was doing and really, really um, made me feel like they wanted me, which is a good thing uh, when you're recruiting. Gotcha. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much they've gotten to watch you wrestle, but if we were in the, in the practice room watching you wrestle – for a week, what would the average Penn State fan see? Um, definitely lots of trying to score, trying to get a uh, bonus, maybe some big moves. I like to hit them every now and then because usually, usually people come in and they don't think big guys are going to go for inside trips or something, but hey, I might try to hit it every now and then, you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you pay attention much to like the high school scene as it is right now? What do you mean, like? Well, like there's been a lot of talk about you and Gable Stevenson meeting up at some point. And you guys have not wrestled. And I'm just curious if you if you pay attention to that kind of thing. Um, not really. I don't. I don't really let it get to me. You know, I know Flo likes to promote him a lot. And, you know, that's whatever, but I'm sure we'll meet up in college and have our battles there. I don't think we're going to get to wrestle in high school. Right. Uh, is there a wrestler that you enjoy watching, you know, from, you know, current to even if you're watching guys on, from the Olympic teams in the 70s or 80s? Um, no, I don't really watch a lot of wrestling. Okay. Is there anybody that's... Oh, oh go ahead, well, Sith. I do like watching Yanni. Yeah? Yanni D? <laughs> yeah, he looked, he looked pretty uh, pretty flexible in his matches uh, at the NCAA tournament. I thought that was pretty cool. Totally. and I mean, just turning it on for uh, you know, wins at the end of a match. Mental toughness, yeah. right? That was awesome. <laughs> Did you know him personally or just from watching him? No, just from watching him. Okay. Um... Is there anybody you mentioned a couple of your coaches, the Terrapelles, you know that you have molded your style the most, or is, do you find it just to be who you are? Um, growing up, I was I watched um, my my brother Nick wrestle, and he was pretty dominant in high school as well. So I kind of molded it after him, I guess I would say. In high school, he did a lot of. Um, you know, outside singles, and he was really good with the bar on top, and, you know, those are kind of like the two pinnacle moves of what I do, and so I guess I could um, say I kind of molded it after him, but obviously the Terrapelles and the other coaches helped mold him into that, so it's all just one big team. Right. Um If you, I'm not sure how much time you've been able to to spend in the you know watching the Penn State guys in the room. Um, I mean, is there anybody on the team that you particularly like watching besides your brother? Um, man, I kind of like watching all of them. Yeah, 
Okay. All right. <laughs> um, I like watching golf. I like how he can get to a leg from, you know, pretty much anywhere. I really like that. But then I also like, I like watching Vincenzo and Bo and Mark and they, how they can all go big moves. Yeah. I like that too. Okay. Um, how was, what was the recruiting process like for you? Some kids describe it as stressful. Others kind of enjoy it. What were your thoughts? Um, I enjoyed it. I never, I didn't stress that much about it. I kind of, I think, I think they kind of knew I wanted to go there. And um, I think they kind of wanted me. So it, it kind of made things easier and less stressful. Anything that you, any advice you'd give to a kid that was going through it in the next year or two? Um, definitely don't rush it. If coaches um, from any college try to get you to commit earlier, try to get you to go out there on your own dime, don't do it. Just wait. Just wait till the the day when you can take your official visit. Gotcha. Uh, do you have a favorite match? That you've wrestled? Favorite match. I'm just wondering, like, if you replay a match or a couple matches in your brain. Mm, I don't think so. So, so waiting for it, I guess. Okay. How about mental toughness? Like, where, where do you develop that? To go on the kind of win streak and be as dominant as you have been. Is that something you forge in the practice room? Is it something that you do through visualization? Where do you where do you get your your mental approach and toughness? Um, I like to think I got it when I was a little bit younger. When Nick was still here, he would wrestle with me a lot when I was, you know, in sixth grade, seventh grade, and he kind of instilled it into me. Um, I'm not gonna say how, but. Some big, brother type stuff. Some big, big brother, brother type stuff. <laughs> okay. And you know, I think that really helped. He kind of he did he did a lot for me. He, he kind of paved my mental toughness out. And yeah. <laughs> okay. Any any stories we should know in particular? Any what? Any stories of how he helped you get your mental toughness? We should know about. I mean, did he pin you and then take photos and put it on Twitter? Or like, no. Nothing like that? Probably lots of tears on my end. Okay. But it made me tough in the end, so that's good. There you go. Um, looking forward to State College. You're thinking about moving out there after, right after graduation, start training. Uh, will you be competing? Do you have anything lined up before the fall as far as – tournaments go um i think i'm gonna try to wrestle in the freestyle tournament in april okay never wrestled freestyle but this is the first for everything so are you training it right now or you're not training at all um i'm gonna start my training i think in a week or two okay <laughs> yeah i mean why not get a week of freestyle in before you try it right yeah okay uh, where is that going to be? You, where, uh, is this? Um, I think it's in Vegas. In Vegas. Oh, sure. Is it the? Like, uni- oh, good. Is it the um, the juniors or the universities? I think it's the juniors. Juniors. All right. Well, that should be exciting. Uh, if Campbell it, Stevenson goes, hopefully I get to wrestle him. If I make it to the final club. Right. Hopefully. That Which, might be the only time I'll get to wrestle him in high school. Right. Who is your training partner right now for that, or coming up when you start to do it? Um, well, yeah, I have a older guy that comes in. Not an older guy, but uh, he was a wrestler at Clovis High before. His name is Jonathan Zamora. He was a big, he was a big guy, and he's pretty strong, so I like to wrestle with him. Gotcha. All right, so um, that'll happen this coming month, and then when do you graduate? Is it? May or June? May 30th. Okay, May 30th. Congratulations. Don't mess it up between now and then. Uh, 
Um, anything else you want to tell the Penn State fans? Or California or Clovis fans? or um, I'm ready to get out there and, you know, when it's my time, I'm going to come out and try to be an NCAA champ. Seth, thanks for the time. Good <laughs> Thank l- you. Good luck with your uh, freestyle endeavor. Uh, <laughs> we'll be looking for that and uh, looking forward to seeing you in State College uh, in the fall. Hey, can you tell Thank me what you. your walk-around weight is? Uh, around 265, 270. Okay. Um, is that during the season or is that like kind of now after the season's over? Um, during, during high school, I like to weigh in around like 260 for my tournaments. But right now, uh, I'm around 270. Gotcha. All right. Hey, make sure to pack a lot of ketchup when you go to State College and uh, talk to you sometime soon. Thank you.